Flatbed Red coming to you here from my studio. This is an 11 by 14 colored pencil drawing, but as you can see, I've started out with just the pencil sketch first, so I have my nice base to work from. I don't want to have to be drawing while I'm also working on building up layers, etc. And building up layers, in this part of the video, I'm using watercolor markers. I just like to use something underneath of my colored pencils to make them pop a little bit. I don't always do it, but for some richer tones like this drawing will be, I do want that nice undercoat first. In oil paintings, it might be a thin layer of different colors, but here it is a different material altogether. So I'm building up my layers of marker. I do offer just marker drawings, which would be a little bit more refined than this marker layer, because I know this is all gonna get covered up, but it's still giving me some shadows. So when I go in with the colored pencil, it's not as much pressure as you might otherwise have to apply or feel like you have to apply. I like really rich colors. So as I'm working here, building up all those colors, you'll also see that I'm using some not quite typical tones. There's some blue in the shadows, especially on the chrome. Chrome isn't just silver, so it reflects the things around it. And now I'm still building up the shadows, but I am going in with colored pencil at this point, as you can see. I'm building up those reflections in the darker colors using lighter colored pencils, darker colored pencils, whatever. <laughs> I'm changing those pencils so much in this video. Also, apologies for the strobing shadows that you can see in this. I have LED lighting in my studio and it doesn't come across well in time-lapse videos. I am trying to figure out some other options of how I can make it look a little bit less crazy for you, and hopefully future videos will be a little bit easier on the eyes. All right, so that chrome has an awful lot of blue in it right now because it was a nice sunny day when I took this photo. Yes, I, I got to work from a photo I took myself here for Nick. He is out of Indiana, and I'm in Northwest Ohio, so we see each other at shows occasionally. There's no real rhyme or reason as to which part of a drawing I really focus on first, like where on the truck that I, I try to concentrate my attention. But in this one, it sort of looks like I started with the grill, which is sort of surprising. That's typically the last thing I do because it's the most frustrating for me. <laughs> but I enjoyed drawing this grill. I started that part early, as you saw. So I really enjoyed working on those reflections, had some fun making TikTok videos. I'm using a whole lot of blue in this this one. It was a nice sunny day, as I said, so I'm really bringing out the weather on the day in this drawing. <laughs> For anyone wondering what brand of supplies I use, I change it up occasionally, but right now my go-to colored pencils are Polychromos by Faber-Castell. I've used other brands in the past. I have some that I want to try out that are sitting in my cupboard, but right now this is my go-to. They hold up really well, they stay sharp, and they produce nice rich tones that I just really like. But if everyone liked the same thing, it would be a boring place. So try out different supplies, see what you like personally. And don't forget to be patient with yourself and practice a bunch. I'm also using a leaning bridge, that shiny clear thing that's reflecting the light up on you. Um, I'm left-handed, it just helps me not drag my hand across my work right-handed people can use them too they're really helpful and as the end of this video is coming I do have prints of this available in the shop on my website www.missflatbed.red I try to put out a bunch of videos on TikTok and everywhere too so if I, you find I'm neglecting this go over look at TikTok and hopefully there's some more tutorials and drawing videos there otherwise thanks for following along here see you around everybody